Hi there, Leos. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at July 7 through July 13. Ending the week with a full moon in Capricorn, your sixth house of hard work, dedication to others, health and well-being. And it's a time for you to come to a decision about those things. For example, if you know you need to lose a little bit of weight or if you know you want to tone up, if you know you want to start a new diet, everyone's on a special diet, or if you just feel like you want to be healthier. Uh, living in Los Angeles like I do, people love drinking these green shakes and they taste like cut lawn, like you've mowed your lawn and you put it in the blender with ice and a banana and it really does taste like that but that is the cleanse that everyone is on except me in LA and uh, everywhere you look there's people drinking this green juice I'm not suggesting that you become that obsessed with it however if you do realize that you're not as in good shape as you want to be or could be or should be and with Jupiter moving into your sign next week July 17, a very exciting time for you, a year with Santa Claus, the gift giver in your sign, and Jupiter really does open doors for you, it brings wonderful opportunities your way, and really helps you move forward, taking advantage of things that are offered to you. And if they're not offered, finding a way to make sure that they are offered. Being in the right place at the right time will, will be more important than ever over the next year with Jupiter in your sign. Jupiter rules Sagittarius. So it's a fellow fire sign connection. Sagittarians are really good contacts, connections, lovers and partners for you over the next year, but they always are. Sagittarians and Leos are a really good match. And know that this time next week, you'll be starting to feel as if, you know, you've got a shot at something, something you might really want. And, you know, Jupiter's advice is, why not go for it? So you've really got a wonderful time coming up, Leos. You're blessed. And keep that in mind. Have a great week and great speaking to you. And I'll speak to you again next week.